So what's up guys this is Jaswinder Singh welcome back to my channel this video will be about some important terms related to nautical flags and I'm pretty sure that from cadets to captains everyone will get to learn something or the other from this video so without any further ado let's get started so these are the topics that I'll be going through in my video I'll explain you the use of substitutes use of answering pennant what is tack line and pigeonhole uh, ensign flag courtesy flag, house flag and the ways to show distress signal by flags. This is the most important one. So let's start. First of all, we have the use of substitute flags. Substitutes, it enables the same flag to be repeated in the same group in case only one set of flags is carried on board. So the first substitute, it refers to the uppermost flag in the hoist and similarly, the second substitute will refer to the second flag in the hoist and the third substitute will refer to the third flag in the hoist. I'll explain this with the help of examples. So in this example, you can see the hoist is of Charlie Hotel, Charlie Cubic. So since the Charlie flag is to be repeated, so we'll make use of the substitutes. Now you can see this is the Charlie flag followed by the hotel flag. And now we again have to hoist the Charlie flag. But since we don't have another Charlie flag on board, so we'll make use of the substitute. In this case, the Charlie flag is the first flag in the hoist. So we will make use of the first substitute. And then finally, we will hoist the cubic flag. In the next example, the hoist is of Bravo cubic, Zulu cubic, Penta 5. So first we have the Bravo flag, followed by the cubic flag. Then we have the Zulu flag. And now we want the cubic flag to be repeated. But since we have only one cubic flag on board, so we'll again make use of the substitutes. So in this case, the cubic lies at the second number in the hoist. So we'll make use of the second substitute. So this is the second substitute flag and followed by the penta 5 flag. So here's a question for you guys. Decode the hoist and let me know your answer in the comment section. The right answer will be pinned by me. And if you're watching till now and you've understood how the substitute flags work, then like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's continue. Now we have the use of answering pennant. This is the answering pennant. Uh, the receiving ship uses this flag to answer the signal by the transmitting ship. It can also be used as a decimal point. So I'll explain you now how the answering pennant works. So there are two ways at which the answering pennant can be hoisted. It can be hoisted at the dip which is the half extent of the halyard. Halyard is basically the ropes that are used to hoist the flags. These ropes are called the halyards. So now when the flag is hoisted at the dip, that means at the middle or the half of the full extent of the halyard, this indicates that the receiving ship has seen your hoist. Okay, when the receiving ship has seen your hoist, so they will indicate the answering pennant at the dip. And then they will take this answering pennant and hoist it at the full extent of the halyard. And this is called close up. So this indicates that the receiving ship has understood the signal from the transmitting ship. So when the receiving ship has seen your signal, they will hoist the answering pennant at the dip. And when the receiving ship has understood your signal or decoded your signal, then they will hoist the answering pennant at close up. And finally, once they are ready with their response, so then they will lower their answering pennant and then they will respond by their own hoist of flags. Now we have tack line and pigeonhole. What is tack line? Tack line is a length of halyard about 2 meters or 6 feet. It is used to separate two groups of flags on the same halyard. So if you want to hoist two groups of flags on the same halyard, you can do so by using a tack line, which is basically a 2 meter length of halyard. Now what is pigeonhole? Pigeonhole is the locker to store all flags on the ship. You can see here, this locker is called the pigeonhole. Now what is ensign flag? Ensign flag is the flag of the nation where the ship is registered. For example, it can be Panama flag, Liberian flag, etc, etc. And where is the location of the hoist of this flag? Uh, whenever the ship is at port, it is hoisted at the stern flag staff. So you can see in this picture, the flag is hoisted at the stern flag staff. And this is the South African flag. 
since the ship is registered in South Africa. You can see here the port of registry is Port Elizabeth. So next up we have the courtesy flag. It is a flag of the country where the ship is arriving to show respect to them. So it's a common practice among merchant ships that whenever a ship is arriving, departing and during their length of stay in the port, they will hoist the national flag of the country. So suppose if your ship is visiting any port in USA, then the, uh, then the USA flag should be hoisted. The location of the hoist is at the starboard yarder. Uh, you can see here at the starboard side, the USA flag is hoisted. Next up, we have the house flag. It is basically the flag of the company to indicate the ship owner or the operator of the vessel. Its location of hoist is at the port yarder. You can see here, this is the funnel. So this is the stern of the ship, the aft part of the ship. And this is the port side. You can see here the company flag being hoisted on the port side. So next up we have distress signal by flags. As per Colrex NX4 distress signals, there are three flags that can be used as a distress signal. So first of all, we have this combination of November flag followed by Charlie flag in a vertical line. Uh, the international code signal of distress indicated by November Charlie. Then we have a signal consisting of a square flag having above it or below it a ball or anything resembling a ball. So you can see here a square flag and having above it or below it a ball or anything resembling a ball. So finally we have this flag. This is a piece of orange colored canvas with either a black square and a circle or some appropriate signal. This is used as an identification means from the air. So you can see here, this is the orange canvas flag, which has a black square and a black circle. And this can be used as a means of identification from the air. Thank you guys. That's it for today. And if you guys liked my video and you want me to make more such videos, then do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching guys.